Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about a, a, a controversial theory that goes against uh, most of our belief systems. And I've heard this theory a lot of in a lot of different uh, places, like um, online. You know, they talk about this a lot, and you know, people hint at it. And the, the uh, since there's evidence to support the possibility that this could be how it is, I feel the need to sort of address this theory because. <laughs> there's evidence that supports the, you know the possibility that this is how it actually is so you have in life you're going to come across two different types of people and you're going to have the type of people who believe in spirituality and then you're going to just have the people who you know you believe in aliens and you know and just fucking like you know just they're uh, you know they don't believe in anything else like just aliens or something like that like <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, so like if, if you're, if you, so if there's evidence to support that God exists and, you know, the, the, the atheists will definitely say that there's evidence to, to suggest that that may not be the case. So there's no surefire way of proving who's right and who's wrong. So because of that, I kind of feel like I should at least uh, address the possibility that this is not spiritual in any kind of fucking way and that this is simply uh people being people really um so like we are assigning uh supernatural characteristics to people who might just be acting like themselves like because they don't meet our moral standards we're judging them and humans in general might just be scum like by our standards like if you're you know we assume that because i don't know maybe because of our belief system or because of um what you know what we see on television we assume that humans have like some sort of decency or morality or some sort of code like we do because we believe in this stuff but i, I i'm just saying that it might simply be that uh humans are just really horrible or they're just like animals they're like any other fucking animal like um Animals don't have a code. Animals don't have a code. Animals do whatever is in their best interest, and that's it. Like, they don't have a code of morality or anything like that. So, like, if they see that you're vulnerable or weak, they take advantage of it and see what they can get out of the situation. Like, animals think like that. So, what's happening, what might be happening with us is that we believe in stuff that really just doesn't really apply like um like you have a code or I, or I have a code or i believe in a higher power you believe in a higher power well if if the people that you live around don't believe in a higher power they're not governed by one then they're just animals and they behave like animals like they'll look at you and say well this person is a pushover so we can you know take advantage of them or screw them over or maybe there's something about you that they felt uh you know they felt like they could you know take advantage of and they just that's what they're gonna do like they're going to do what animals do and i kind of know how animals behave because i actually i've actually been pretty interested in like you know african wildlife and stuff that's actually something that i've been interested in for a pretty long time so basically when you deal with animals uh they behave in their best interest and that's it like there's no consideration for uh the feelings of other animals or any fucking thing like that <laughs> like uh so you deal with people and they'll see weakness and and and, and basically if an animal senses weakness he re he, he 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 attacks or he goes after it like he it's it's like it triggers his animal instincts and he sort of just like attacks or takes advantage of any vulnerability so the it's possible that through your code of morality you're just coming across as vulnerable in the predatorial human that you know every all humans are predators except for maybe like a couple of us like there's like a handful of us who are just wired differently and i think that the term they give us is empaths like being an empath or the, the ability to sort of relate to other people's suffering is abnormal it's not normal like normal humans probably don't have that that type of mindset and it's so rare 
that if you have it, it's like it being defective or something. And, you know, it's like a weakness. It's like a defect. So, like, every other human is just a predator. And if you, if you show any kind of weakness, and a predator sees weakness, he, he attacks it. Like, that's what predators do. So, basically what I'm saying is that it could simply be the humans are predators, like any other animal. And they're sensing defect or weakness in you through your morality, through your code, because you're empathic and being empathic is not natural. And uh, maybe it's not natural. So they're like, why, why is he, why does he give a fuck about other people? Like it's not normal to them. And they are attacking it. Like just because we see it on TV doesn't mean it is like that. Or we were conditioned to feel that way uh, intentionally because we're gifted. And, uh, you know, it was like, well, you know, uh, we're going to condition a couple of special people and then we're going to screw them over and they're not going to fight back because they're not going to they're going to be wired to believe in shit that normally you wouldn't believe in, like morality and shit. Like, <laughs> like there's no such thing as morality. What I'm saying is that according to these people, there may not be a such thing or it's not natural for humans to feel shit for each other. Humans, you know, it's like kill or be killed. And you're like one of the few people, either through conditioning or because you were just wired differently uh, for some odd reason. You're one of the few people who actually believes in this shit, which is why these people are taking advantage of it, because it's a weakness. So like, so like, uh, you know, um, so like when you deal with people and I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you guys something. When you deal with people and all the years you've been dealing with people, have you ever legitimately met a good person? A person who was good by your standards, a person who was selfless or like you, who felt like you, who believed in the shit that you believe in, who legitimately lived up to it. Have you ever in your entire life met a human who wasn't trying to fuck you over? Has it ever happened ever? Uh, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you guys believe you have, uh, you know, for me personally, I don't, I'm pretty sure I've never met a good human. I've met people who may or may not have been good people, but I'm not sure. And that's the best. That's, I mean, that's the best I could tell you. Like, I'm not 100% sure I've ever met a quote unquote good human in my entire fucking life. Okay. So the thing is, maybe there aren't any fucking, maybe it's not normal for humans to be good. Like their code of morality is just some fucking big joke. Like it's like a ruse or something. Like they just make that shit up and, you know, a couple people fall for it, like are suckered into believing it. You know, but the point being is that I've seen no examples of, of human morality in my entire fucking life. If people do something, they're doing it for a fucking selfish asshole reason. If it's nice. Like, no human has ever been nice for, and it, and it wasn't for asshole selfish fucking reason. Like, if they do it, it's because they, there's a reason that serves them. It's not because they give a shit about each other. Humans don't give... I've seen no examples of humans giving a single fuck about each other, really. Ever in any situation okay the only time people give a fuck about it, other people is when they're related to them or it's like their kids or something and that's that's all all living creatures are wired to give a shit about their kids all of them like i don't give a fuck if you were a wild animal you give a shit about your damn kids okay that's it so outside of that though people don't give a fuck maybe your immediate family uh, outside of that though have you ever seen the heroes group of people like the good guys fighting the bad guys uh, I've lived out this motherfucker for a long ass time. Uh, there aren't any good guys. At least if there are, you never fucking see them. Uh, these people, there's not one good guy amongst these motherfuckers, okay? Like, that's what you start to see. Now, of course, you could just, uh, if, you, if you're a religious person, you're already explaining. You're already, you're already, you know, analyzing about us. Hey, of course. Uh, but if you're not religious, if you're not religious, you're probably relating to what I'm saying here for the non religious I mean, <laughs> like if you're a non-believer, you, you best not, if you don't believe in God, I'm pretty sure you have no faith in humanity because there's no fucking way. I mean, if you don't believe in God, you must have no faith in humanity. Like, uh, I don't have faith in humanity, uh, even though I am a believer, but just imagine, like, if you are not a believer, how the hell could you possibly have faith in humanity after seeing this shit? I mean, you have to... <laughs> faith in humanity like if you're if you are a decent human being and you don't believe in god i mean you are truly a fucking miracle because wow but no i mean it's not impossible it's not impossible but i'm just saying don't you think that's unusual have you, you know you've been dealing with humans for all this time uh have you ever met a human who uh, was fucking decent 
I mean, so why are you decent if no one else is fucking decent? Like, you gotta have to ask yourself that question if you don't believe in God. I mean, why are you decent? Is anyone else decent? Have you ever met someone who was? Are you sure? Or uh, maybe they were, just, you know, well, where are they now? Why haven't they helped you? Why haven't they done something? Like, you know, you see the people in the church, like t earlier today, they pulled the church van up. They knew I was going to talk about this shit, so they pulled up the church van. <laughs> the gang stalkers, he, they whipped the church van out. They thought, these gang stalkers are fucking stupid, man. I keep saying that. These gang stalkers are fucking stupid. But they did that because they thought it was smart. I mean, in their mind, everything they do is fucking smart. They're fucking stupid. But they believed in that shit, so they did it. So they whipped that bitch out, and I think, I don't know what they were saying. Like, but it kind of makes my point, like, how the church would be involved in the fucking the evil stalking and shit. The goddamn people in the church would be the worst fucking offenders. They're the worst ones. Okay? So I'm saying, like, that's the point. Like, can you believe, could you believe in human morality after being a victim of these fucking people for years and years and years? Um... So we don't know whether humans have any morality to them at all. And that's the point I'm making. And the operation could simply be humans seeing weakness in you and taking advantage of it because humans probably by nature are predatorial. Like any other animal, they're, they're like predators. Humans are predators. Like you see the gang stalkers, the gang stalkers, they figured that you were weak and they could take advantage of you and do some evil shit to you because you were too weak to do anything about it. And that might be what motivated them. Like, and then everybody, every human is like that. The humans look at you and they're like, fuck this guy. They don't give a fuck about you. Humans don't give a fuck about other humans. And they never did. And you just been watching a lot of propaganda. It's all propaganda, all that shit. Like how it is with the Ukraine. How they'll say, oh, you know, uh, all fucking, uh, what's his name? Goddamn, he did all this shit with the Ukraine. They don't give a fuck. These people say shit because they, Putin is their enemy. Like they don't give a fuck about other people. Like I said, it's all propaganda. It's all bullshit on their end. So the theory is that they just bullshit. Like they don't give a fuck about anybody. Like these people can do all this evil shit to you and you're one of their own and then the poor people of the Ukraine. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you're fucking a, a member of their fucking one of their countrymen and they don't give one single fuck about you but then they turn around and pretend that they give a fuck about people in another fucking country and why would they if they can't give a fuck about you then why would they give a fuck about what's going on with people in different countries and shit so the point being is that this is all just a bunch of bullshit is a theory like people you're 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 abnormal you're defective as far as they're concerned because you have something called morality and they don't have that shit and it's they consider it a defect like they consider it a weakness like when predators hunt predators look for vulnerabilities in their prey and they saw a, a defect that normally people won't have that's why as ugly as these gang stalkers are these gang stalkers are fucking ruthless man like that piece of shit shit they'll be ugly and stupid you'll be like well why is somebody ugly and stupid being successful because they're completely ruthless like they're like the you know the animal that mauls people like the, the wild dog that'll maul your ass you know people you know the more aggressive they are you know the aggression keeps them keeps them in safe in the system so like with you they're saying weakness 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 and then you know that's when they attack but you know these these gang stalkers you know these people be over there just kill they'll kill like 10 people i mean you know they don't <laughs> They don't want any of that drama. Like, you fuck with one of them, and they'll, they'll shoot the whole goddamn store. I mean, you know, that shit, that shit seems crazy, but, you know, it kind of ensures that people just don't fuck with them like that. But the point is that that's probably why nobody's fucking with them. But you, you know, you're like all Jesus-like, and everybody's fucking you over because it's in their nature to do that shit, okay? So I'm saying that, I'm not saying that this is the way it is, but the way it probably is, the way it could be, is that basically everybody... Everybody that you're around is a piece of shit because humans by nature are pieces of shit by our standards and we've just been sort of indoctrinated to be nicer so they can easily take advantage of us for some reason. Maybe we have something that they, they're after or something, we're special, but they indoctrinated us to be better than a normal person morally so they can easily fuck us over so we don't go postal and fucking waste their ass or some crazy shit for doing this shit. And that's why, okay? So that's why uh, we're being gang stalked because they condition us to be good so that they can fuck us over and keep us weak and then take advantage of us because we're special. And that's it. That's it. Like, it's no, it's no more complicated than that. 
So with that said, let me go ahead and close out now.